sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I honestly don't know. And tell me how we messed up, drifting away from each other. Didn't wanna let you go. homemade sea salt caramel latte I'm really enjoying this espresso machine it only took me almost a year to actually like use it and enjoy it now hey guys welcome back to my channel Sydney and I are having an awesome day so far we are basically doing preschool at home activities today so that's what today's video is gonna be it's gonna be a day in the life vlog but with a bunch of preschool activities so in case you guys don't know Sydney is not gonna be in preschool until she's like four and a half that's just how our uh, system works around here I know a lot of you guys send your kids to school preschool I like two three four years old but yeah it's um, a public preschool system here and it won't start until she's four but because of birthdays and whatever she'll be four and a half so I'm okay with that you know because I'm home with her all the time I have access and am able to teach her and kind of do crafts and activities that she would normally do um, in a daycare setting or a preschool setting or something like that I hope you guys find some inspiration if you're stay-at-home moms um, or maybe your teachers or preschool teachers or whatever daycare providers um, maybe you get some inspiration I found some inspiration on Pinterest but I also do my own spin on everything that way I'm not necessarily copying or repeating something you can just you know what I mean like it, we all find inspiration from somewhere I think I'm gonna make a crock pot meal in just a little bit I'm gonna throw some chicken in the crock pot and make uh, our dinner so that I don't have to worry about it come dinner time I want to make sure Sydney doesn't miss out on anything you know what I mean and obviously like the social aspect of being in school is great for them um, but Sydney has been playing a lot more with other children with making other friends and having her neighbors and just she's been interacting with other children so much more now so I think that's really good for her um, but yeah that's just how our system is going to work and that's fine uh, I never went to preschool everyone around here did not go to preschool it wasn't really a thing and I know it is now if you guys like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel my name is Haley my little girl is Sydney and she's two and a half years old I would love it if you guys would click subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos we do tons of day in the life vlogs uh, educational videos so I will take you along so far on what we've done for arts and crafts and educational activities that it's not like school learning, but she's learning. She's like having fun playing, but learning at the same time. Those are my go-to activities. So I will take you through the two, three that we've done so far today. And then I will meet you at the crock pot. The first activity we did is a number recognition and matching game. So I made a little tree out of felt and little apples out of felt. <laughs> All right, so the object of this, Sydney, is to put the tree down on the table, and then we're gonna find the matching apple numbers, okay? So mommy has a number on every apple, and you gotta find that number on the tree and put it where it goes. What number is that one? Let me see. Oh, that's the number seven. Do you see a number seven on the tree? See? Do you see someone? Do you see a number that matches it? Um, me. Yes, honey, put the apple there. Great job, high five. You matched the number seven. Number seven. How about this one? Oh. Go. What number is that one? It's, it's that one. Yay, that's the number 10. One, zero, number 10. Um, so you can definitely do this game in many different forms. You can do it with letters, uppercase, lowercase. You can do it with math, like simple math problems if your um, child is in that stage. You can do, once they have all the apples on the tree, um, taking them off, like tell them which number to pick uh, first. And just there's so many different 
ways you can play with these games and that's what I love. Sydney was obsessed with this activity and she went back to it three times throughout the day. Good job. What? Do you know where number two is? Where's, no, look again, where's number two? It's not true. Number two. Good job. Can you find, this is number five. Can you take number five? Good job. Let's do number, number four. The second activity that we tackled is an arts and craft project that Sydney actually picked out. I was scrolling through Pinterest and this paper plate turkey popped up and Sydney would not stop talking about it. So I decided that we would do that even though it is September. And this activity is super simple. Basically you take orange, yellow, and red paint. You could also do brown, of course. We use just the little sponge paint brushes. You can use a cotton ball as well or whatever you'd like. A small sponge ripped up and just dab, dab, dab. Mix all the colors all over the paper plate until it is to their liking. And to make the turkey face, you just cut out this kind of oblong shape for its head and then a little triangle beak and a little goblet, I think it's called. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And then two wobbly eyes. You're so smart. So what we, the first thing we got to do is put his brown head right on there. So mom is going to put some glue on this and then you're going to stick it right on the plate, okay? So I'll just... You want to help? Actually, you want to squeeze a little bit of glue out? Just you're a lonely sailor, and your soul is made of wind and wind, doubts and blame. You made it to I'm a weary pirate, and my heart is and made look. of dust. Show the camera. Hold it up. Hold it. Go ahead. I've got troubles. I've got sins. I'm my worst enemy. But I still got a lot to give. So I said, hey, don't you want to come? Come and run. Chuck doo Trace the yellow dotted line. Good girl. Do you know what letter is for apple? Peace for apple. No. Do you remember what letter is for apple? What is mommy? Is it? A, A for apple. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I wanted to make something so easy. So I'm just doing crock pot chicken. Um, I'm taking my chicken tenders and I'm gonna toss them, toss them. I'm gonna pour pasta sauce right over them and cook them in the crock pot. It just makes really, really tender, amazing chicken. And then I'm gonna pour it over pasta tonight. I'm gonna to doctor up the sauce a little bit and put some seasonings and garlic and whatnot in there. So I will show you what I do. But yeah, whenever I don't know what to do with my chicken and I really don't feel like cooking around dinner time, you know, like taking an hour to actually cook dinner, um, this is what I do. One of my go-to like crock pot things. What I really like about these tenders is for the most part, you barely need to clean them. I'm super weird about my chicken and I always have to like trim the fat off and trim like, you know, just the yuckiness off. But what I like about these, like I said, is um, they're mostly like really, really good. So I'm gonna toss um, all of my tenders in here and I am going to season them a little bit with some salt and pepper. You have to go potty again? Okay, I gotta wash my hands, dealing with chicken. So I've got my pasta sauce here, chicken in the crock pot that I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to. My, um, I need to put more batteries in my other salt grinder. So I just have some sea salt here that I'm gonna just crush over it. A little bit of black pepper. A little bit of oregano. Maybe 
make it like Italian. -y. Then I think I'm gonna do some garlic and call it good for a little bit. I like a lot of garlic, so. And then I'm gonna pour in the sauce right over the chicken. Kind of making a mess. If you find that it's like a little bit dry, you can totally add. Actually, I might end up adding the whole jar of sauce, but I'm just gonna start with this amount um, and then we'll see. And now Sydney's hungry, so she's gonna have some crackers. I think it's almost three, so I think I'm gonna give Sydney some downtime. She hasn't had any downtime today. Um, so I might let her watch a little bit of TV while I kind of get the next activity like set up and ready. It's kind of fun. I like doing this preschool at home thing. I do try to do activities with her like this, but I'm definitely going to be trying a lot more now that um, she's older and she's able to do more things. It's super fun. So give her a snack, let her unwind while I clean up a little bit and set up for the next activity. <laughs> So for this next activity, we're gonna do like a color sorting and um, fine motor skill. Don't mind my old muffin tin. Um, but I just basically cut out like little circles to go in the bottom of the muffin tin that match um, the colors of the pom-pom and put a bunch of different colored pom-poms here. And I'm gonna go get a paper clip if she can use it. Okay, so what you do is you try to take the paper clip and you squeeze it open and pick up a pom-pom with it, okay? okay? Can you try to do that? Squeeze it on this end. Squeeze it open and pick up a pom pom. Hey, won't you come? Won't you come? Tom. And say by chance, don't you want me? A man who fully understands. A sailor. A sailor's heart. You're a born survivor And you'll never find yourself in love You're wild Okay, Sydney is quickly like on to the next one right now. So I figured I would do kind of like a letter uh, recognition, spelling, whatever activity. She's not gonna know how to spell for a little while, I'm assuming. But um, yeah, so I've got some paper and markers and mommy is going to draw a small word like cat and then have her dig for the matching letters and kind of line them up. So I thought that would be a cool activity. Yeah, Mama's going to draw letters and have you find the letters in here that match. No, I want I want just this color. And then I'll let you color after. <laughs> Why are you so smart? Okay, what other letters do you see? Do you see another O? Yeah. Go find another O. o. Good job. Wait, I want to put my o. Okay, you spell this word and then I'll let you color with the marker, okay? Go ahead. And then what is that letter? It's B. Yeah, can you find a B in there? Do you know what that spells? B O O spells boo. Boo. Boo like a ghost. B O O. Boo a ghost. Boo. I'm scary. You're scary? Yeah. Look. Can you can you say it? B O O. Boo. B O O what? Boo. Good job. <laughs> Give me a high five. Can you try to draw an O? I got troubles, I got sins. An O like this, a circle. But I still got a lot to give. So I said, hey, don't you want to come? Do you want to do another come word and match the letter? I spelled dog. Yeah. And what letters are they? What letters do you see? I see D. Yeah? 
Can you find a D? D for daddy. D for daddy, you're right. <laughs> and D for dog. D for dog for daddy. Yeah. Good job. Daddy. We'll put it down. Put it where the other D is. Good girl. Won't you come? Won't you come? And sit by a chance. Don't you want a man? A man who fully understands. A sailor's heart. A sailor's heart. I said, hey, don't you want to come? Come and run away with me. Hey, won't you come? Won't you come? Okay, so we are cleaning up our letters and we are going to actually go outside and just get that physical energy out and play a little bit before dinner. It's almost 4 o'clock and dinner will be ready around 5.30. So we'll get that energy out. Sydney, did you like spelling words? Yeah. We spelled boo. Did we spell dog and cat? We met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you. I don't know whose chickens these are, but they keep coming here. There's three of them usually. And um, they're definitely not afraid of people, that's for sure. But they're not from this direct neighborhood. Oh, they're like, getting me. They're getting me. What do you... It's hard to get me. Yeah, you hold on tight to that stick though, okay? The table got get my stick wet. Yeah, you don't want the chickens to get your stick. <laughs> Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I honestly don't know. And tell me how we... Drifting away from each other, didn't want to let you go. Oh, oh, oh. Cause we want different things, and I have to do with it. But it's not easy, so tell me how to let go. Cause you really seem to know how to carry on on your own. Okay, we are done playing outside, and now I'm gonna start the pasta for dinner. I had to turn the chicken down, it seemed like it was cooking really fast. And I also added basically the entire jar. I saved a tiny bit for the end, um, but I basically added the entire jar, jar of pasta sauce. So I turned it down to low probably like 45 minutes ago. I've been walking down the street like an alien. They say time will heal, but I don't have patience You packed your things, now we begin the erasing Okay, so I think the sauce is pretty much done. The pasta's done. It smells amazing in my house. At this point, you could shred up and cut the chicken, but I think I'm gonna just like cut it up into smaller pieces and not shred it, and then pour it right over the pasta. I know I gotta go but I can't, but I can't, I can't get anyway. Cause I'm sitting low. I'm sitting low. I'm sitting low. Oh, I want this. You're really hungry? It feels so good to sit down and have dinner. It feels like a Sunday today and not a Tuesday because it's, I don't know, it's like one of those, well, because my Nana's funeral was yesterday. Um, so I'm, my days are just thrown off. Yesterday, Sydney spent the entire day at my friend's house. Like literally the entire day, my friend came and picked her up at like 9.15 in the morning and I didn't get to their house until almost 5 p.m. And she did amazing. She was in a great mood. They played we're hard. We go my fifth house. Who's your friend? Who did you go, whose house did you go to yesterday? 
we'll go ha ha ha. Yeah. And um, I didn't know how she would do because she hasn't been away from me. I don't know, like that long ever, I don't think. Um, like not at the house and besides when I was working. But she would be here uh, and that would only be like for a few hours and then she'd be in bed. So it was just a whole new experience and she did amazing. When she was saying goodbye to me, she was like, peace mom, I'm so excited to go have a day with my friend. So I'm very proud of her. Uh, she did great, I didn't know what to expect. So yeah, um, today's kind of just one of those days for me where I just put effort into Sydney and not myself and that's okay. We're about to eat a really good dinner. I love doing chicken that way because it's so tender and just juicy and delicious and it's so easy too. <sighs> now I'm so full from dinner. I am ready for bed. I always say that I'm ready for bed after dinner because I'm so full, but it was so good. We go outside. So, we go outside. No, it's a little late. We go to go outside. So I have to admit, Sydney is definitely overtired, especially from yesterday. Um, I had to keep her awake from the car ride home or on the car ride home. And then she did wake up. She didn't really sleep in or anything today. What? So she's a little bit, let's just say overtired. So a little bit cranky. So we are going to be like straight to bed at seven, no later last night, even, I think it was almost seven 30. So it needs to be straight at seven for her to be well rested enough. She's like a lit clockwork. But uh, yeah, I really want to get going on the preschool stuff for her since she isn't going to be going for such a long time. And I don't want her to fall behind. And I don't want her to get bored and just for us to get bored basically, especially with the winter coming around. I want to make sure that we are implementing a lot of different activities, learning activities, fun things. Not like she doesn't have to learn and go to school every single day. Like nothing strict all day hour thing. Um, but just implement some like toddler activities that are educational uh, at the same time. So I hope you guys got inspired from this video. Maybe you'll try some out with your little one. You can always switch things up too and do like matching memory um, instead of let instead of numbers. You can do letters. You can do math if your child's older. Um, maybe spelling. I really wanted to do one more activity that way I could do like five in this video, but. This little girl, I can tell, is not having it. So we are going to call it quits there. And I hope you guys enjoyed it again. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Say, say goodbye. I could already tell she's so on edge. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.